One of the great features of Eddie is, is it's multicam. It's a very simple and yet very powerful tool that you can use to synchronize cameras when you have more than one camera shooting. And to show this, the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and bring in my two shots. And there's camera one and camera two. And once they're in, I'm going to go ahead and bring them down to the timeline. So I'm going to pick my first camera right here and drop it. And then I'm going to bring down camera two and place it on video track two right above it. And you can see there's the audio sitting right below it. I'm going to go ahead and open up the first channel on each one of them. And there's a reason for this because we'll be able to see. Now, as I have this here, you'll notice that I really don't have any way of doing multicam. So I'm going to go up to the mode and select multicam mode, which you can see is also F8. But before I do that, I'm going to check my number of cameras. And I have two plus masters sitting here, which is exactly what I want. But as you can see, you can do up to 16 cameras simultaneously on the screen at one time to be able to choose from. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it on two plus master. Then I'm going to select multicam mode or press F8. And you'll now see that I have camera one and camera two sitting right down here. And that my two cameras are sitting right here, angles with a master sitting right here. Now you'll notice that when I was able to pick the uh, cameras, and let me just go back there very quickly so you can see it, I had different numbers plus master and without master. Now the reason for this is because of the fact that this also serves as a master. So when I pick each one of these to be able to be seen, I can see that right here. So I really don't need this master, but because of the fact that really to do three cameras uh, without a master would just leave a big blank spot right here. So that's basically, I believe, the reason why Grass Valley left this in. Now, I've got a small problem down here. And my small problem is, if you listen very closely, I invite you, I invite you to change these rings. Place this ring and commence this video and repeat after me. I'm not synced up. So basically, I'm in a little bit of trouble here because of the fact that I've got to get these cameras synced before I start doing multicam because one camera is not going to be synced up with the main audio that I'm going to be using. So basically, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to take a look right here, right here at my waveform for each one of these. And I can see from right here that it's not lined up correctly. So if I come up here to where it says one second, where I'm circling right here, where it says one second, and I hit the back arrow, I can take this down, down as far as one frame if I want to. And you can see that I can see where the audio is. Now, if your audio is way off, in other words, one camera was started like a minute afterwards or something of that nature, you could look for something like a, a, the start of music, uh, a flash going off, uh, you know, a baby crying, something of that nature, something very distinct, and find it on each one of them to get you very, very close. And then you can go to the waveform and take a look. And all I have to do is just grab this one down here on three and move it over to where it looks like it's fairly lined up. Let me just go one more here. That looks like it's fairly lined up. So let's take a listen and see what happens. Nope, I still sound like I'm a little bit like a uh, echo right there. So I know for a fact that I'm not quite lined up yet. So I'm going to go back here to kind of the very beginning. And see, I can see these are still off. So I'm going to move it back again. And let's try it again. We place this ring on Vanessa's finger and repeat after me, man. Vanessa, receive and wear this ring. As you can see, I'm now lined up and be able to use my audio to line it up. So if I go back to my one second view, you can see now that my audio is lined up, my video is lined up, and I'm ready to go. Now with this lined up, very, very simple to do. Now I want you to notice something, if, if you would. I'm going to kind of spread this out again. But you see these two little triangles right here, the blue ones? Because there's only one camera sitting right down here, it automatically knows that that's the camera I want to use. So it's already set a point for me to see this camera first and leave it there until I'm ready to change it. Now here, here's how hard it is to use multicam. So please watch very, very closely because this is very, very difficult to do. I start to play. I invite you to exchange these rings. 
we place this ring on Vanessa's finger and repeat after me. Then. Vanessa, receive and wear this ring. Vanessa, receive and wear this ring. <laughs> As a token of my love and trust for you, who has this ring, has no end, neither shall my love for you. And we place this on each finger and repeat after me. Now receive and wear this ring. Now, when I stop playback, what I want you to see is it has automatically separated my video out. In other words, you see that the cut point between here and here is camera two, and this one is disabled. The cut point between here and here is camera one, and camera two is disabled so that I can see it. So I'm going to turn the, the audio down here because we really don't need to hear that anymore. But watch what happens as it goes through. We place this ring on Vanessa's finger and repeat after me, man. Vanessa, receive and wear this ring. Vanessa, receive and wear this ring. <laughs> it's very simple to use. As you can see, it's very easy to use. And I could have also pushed the number keys on the keyboard one and two to be able to switch back and forth between those cameras. But once I'm done, I can go up and just very slightly if I need to each of those cameras and be able to either lengthen or shorten each one of those each one of the shots so I'm not stuck with what I have right here so if I come down a little bit like they say a half second or or 10 frames I can grab that little triangle and move it back and forth and be able to use that without any problem whatsoever once I have it done, I think, oh my goodness, I made a mistake. I should have picked this other camera instead of this one. I just go over that camera right there, and then I just pick the camera I want. And you'll notice that it jumps back and forth between the camera shots. So even after I'm done, it has a lot of versatility that I can sit there and adjust those cut points so I don't have to go, oh, I have to start all over again. I screwed up. Or if I picked a different camera than I really thought I should have, I can just go in very easily afterwards and be able to pick that. Now, now that I have this all done, let's say that I'm ready for it to go out. If I come up to mode, I can do a couple of different things here. I can compress to a single track, and we're going to talk about that in just a second, but the first thing I want to show you is this. If I have two sequences, and sequence one is a multicam, and I just want those cuts in there, and I'm not really worried about doing anything else to it, I can actually go into sequence two and then bring sequence down right into the timeline and it'll have all my cuts as you can see going back and forth in. and to go back and edit that all i have to do is either hit sequence one tab or i can just double click on sequence one and it takes me right back and i can work on it but let's say i've gotten this thing really finished up and i want to add some stuff to it so i'm going to go up to mode i'm going to compress it to a single track and I'm going to select a new video track. So I'm going to select OK. And now, as you can see, there's a third track with all of my cuts on it. And I can still, by the way, be able to move things back and forth if I want to and be able to work with it. But now they're all sitting on one line to where I can place transitions between them. I can do anything I want with it, set it up perfectly. And as I set this all up, guess what? It's all changing in sequence two with this as I do it. So as you can see, multicam is a very simple thing to use, but yet very, very powerful. And at the end here, I just wanted to show you a couple of more of the powerful things that are inside of it. So if I go to sync point, you'll notice that I have asynchronous time code, recorded time, clip in and clip out. Just very quickly, if you have cameras with time code and they're synced, you don't have to worry about all that syncing together with sound because this will take it directly to the frame all shots. So if you have 16 cameras, they're all synced with time code. You take all 16 and bring them down. It'll line all 16 of them up simultaneously. Record and timestamp. That's basically if you have, let's say you have two or three cameras, they're the same kind of camera. You have a remote. You set the date and time at the exact same time on all three cameras. You can use this to keep it really, really close. And it will have it within, should have it within 30 frames to where then it makes it easy to kind of adjust all of them and make it work. So those two are, are things that you can use to make your life a whole lot easier. 
But as you can see, guys, the multicam is very simple to use, but yet very powerful. It allows you to do all sorts of adjustments, changing of cameras afterwards, and then being able to place it up on a single line to be able to put dissolves or whatever it is you want to put between them very quickly and be able to get your jobs done that much faster. If you like what you've seen here and would like to try Edius out, you can always go and get the 30-day uh, download. But if you'd like to get it, the video guys right now are having a great cross-grade promotion. So if you go to your browser and type in videoguys.com, and then in the search, just type in Edius 7 Crossgrade, you'll be able to bring that Crossgrade promotion up. And they have several different flavors of it. They have it alone, and they have it bundled with other things, as you can see right here. It's a really great time at Video Guys to take advantage and buy Edius and be able to use it to help your workflow be better. Videoguys.com is your source for streaming media and live production equipment, storage, and video editing hardware and software. We have specialized in video editing and production for more than 25 years, and our technicians are available to answer your questions and help you find the best solution for your needs and budget.